Hey everybody, future me here, and I say future me because that's the video you're about to watch. Um, I just want to jump in real quick at the beginning here to fill in a couple of blanks. So, about six months ago, my Mazda, this car, broke down and left me stranded on the side of the road on my way to work. To kind of prove how bad of condition the engine is currently in and why I'm replacing it. Listen to this clip from Snapchat of me just trying to back it into a garage. It's not very happy, but... Yeah, it doesn't sound good. That Snapchat clip was actually from yesterday as I'm filming this part right now. Yesterday, we was technically day one of this whole project. We picked the car up, started taking it apart and everything like that. We got the front bumper off we got the headlights out of the way we took off the front crash bar we drained and removed the radiator and we drained the oil out of the engine yesterday today where this video is going to pick up is right after we well when i finally pick up the camera and actually start talking to it towards the middle um is uh right after we disconnected most of the electrical connectors i think there's one left that we're just having a hard time reaching now right now for whatever reason they just they just made it difficult for us i guess the intake manifold has been removed so that's where this is gonna pick up when i get down to the car so enjoy the video seven six five four three two one you'll never have the sacred stone <laughs> oh this you crazy mother all right so for those of you that may or may not know um my other car my mazda is dead i'm i'm, I'm in my sob so uh, the plan is to go work on the Mazda today, so I can fix it and sell this thing. Don't get me wrong, I like this car, but it's gotta go. And today's actually day two, because I completely forgot to film anything yesterday. So, yeah, I'll see you when we get down there. just kind of showed up and started working um yeah you gotta flip the screen okay so basically we uh got pretty much all the electrical disconnected fuel rails out everything's good except for down by the alternator which you guys can't really see but other than that everything else pretty much disconnected what else cb shifts cb shifts and then once all that's done we can move the electrical out of the way disconnect a couple more hoses and we can just lift it up and out and wait for the new engine to show up so yeah it's moving a lot faster than we thought and uh i'm okay with that because it would be nice to be able to drive this car again so yeah <laughs> 